um, this is our last Halloween haunt update on Canada's Wonderland before it starts tomorrow night. I can't believe I'm saying that. We're actually going to Halloween haunt this year. Um, I definitely need this. I've been looking forward to this. We want this. <laughs> we need it. Take my money. Um, whatever the kids are saying nowadays. Anyways, um, a lot has done, and you're going to be able to see it from the drone footage. The new zombie area, um, the kind of like miner's revenge area over on Splash Path. Um, they're setting up some weird tent over by Flying Canoes. The little graveyard-themed area out front of Backlot Cafe. Um, it's looking amazing. The zombie area in front of Sledgehammer looks sick. So I'm excited. Um, I know, um, minus the haunted houses, <laughs> and the haunted houses not eating up lines, uh, rides are probably going to be very busy. I just saw two people at the fence. Uh, but yeah, it's probably going to be really busy um, tomorrow. It's probably going to be really busy every day. Because you have to take into consideration that there's no haunted houses. And if anyone remembers Halloween Haunt... The rides used to be dead because everyone was in line for haunted houses and the lines would consist of like an hour, an hour and a half each haunted house. So that amount of people all over the park at the various haunted houses aren't in line for rides. Well, this year it's just scare zones. So all the people are going to be in line for rides and just experiencing scare zones as they walk in between rides. So my biggest suggestion for anyone watching this video, arrive early. Go do the rides you want to do. And my even bigger piece of advice, do not go to Leviathan first. Unless you only care about Leviathan, go to Leviathan first. Beat the huge crowd. But you have a huge opportunity to go to the Yukon Behemoth area and tackle that entire side of the park first. Get a lot of things done versus one. Because the Leviathan area crowds. You get all the people picking up their fast lane. You get all the Leviathan um, lovers over there. You get the general public heading over to the biggest attraction in the park. So the other side of the park is left very, very, very unswamped. So definitely head over to Behemoth. That's my biggest suggestion. Um, some days we've even gone over there without getting fast lane first and been able to get on a lot of rides. So that's that's why I'm giving that advice. Prepare for long lines for food. Prepare for long lines if you don't have fast lane. Understand that before going to the park. Don't be mad at the park. Again, there's a reason that they have no haunted houses. It isn't the park's decision. This is what they have to do. You do not need a vaccine passport to enter the park or do anything in the park except for Marketplace and Backlot Cafe, two indoor seated restaurants. So in order to go into those restaurants, you will need a vaccine passport or proof of vaccine with photo ID to match it. Um, do not throw a tantrum when you get there. If you're watching this video, that is what's expected. That's not the park's fault or choice. They have to do that to operate. That is that. Um, with that being said, um, I'm trying to think here. I'll give you a zoom in shot of what I was talking about over by Flying Canoes here. Boop. Zoom in here. Um, and yeah, it's interesting. It looks like it could be either for the daytime um, Camp Spooky or maybe just some singing. Um, I know Wonderland likes to add a bit of entertainment. They did it in the summer. Maybe they're going to add even more entertainment here. Um, I can't really guess. Uh, but I'll have to look at the park map more in depth to get um, an idea of what it is. Again, it could be Plant Camp Spooky. It could be something they're working on. So they just have the tent over there because they're setting up electrical um, for um, some sort of Halloween Haunt or Camp Spooky type of thing. But nonetheless, super exciting. It looks amazing. There's no construction over at our Harmony Hall. Um, on Firework Hill quite yet. I think they said they're going to start that just after Halloween, so in November. Um, and no signs of Mindbuster being torn. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> with that being said, um, what are you looking forward to uh, for Halloween Han? I think most of you are going to say night rides. I'm definitely looking forward to night rides, but I am definitely looking forward to the scare actors. Um, I love the scare actors at Canada's Wonderland. They are There's a lot of people who are really into cosplay that are actors for Halloween Haunt, and it just adds to that environment because they're really in character. So if you have a chance, go up and talk to some of them. Like, I feel like um, you're missing out on a huge thing if you're just, like, ignoring the whole Halloween Haunt atmosphere. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be filming, um, and I can't wait to interact with these Halloween Haunt actors because they're amazing, and I'm excited. Um, but nonetheless, thank you for watching the update today on Halloween Haunt. Can't wait to see you guys at the park. If you see, if you see me, feel free to say hi. Why does the grass look so green right now?
damn. Okay, and anyway, sorry, the grass just looks so vibrant there. Um, with that being said, if you see me at the park, feel free to say hey. Um, and again, I really appreciate all you guys who watch my channel and support it and just are super nice and encouraging. It means a lot. Um, and if you have some time and you want to get to know me better, um, feel free to watch the video I posted just before this video. Um, and yeah. Um, it's 30 minutes, so if you don't have time to watch it, I totally understand. Don't watch it. It is a trigger warning, a little deep, and it goes a bit into my experiences um, in high school and stuff. So definitely, um, if you want to get to know why I am the way I am and I don't trust people and I'm a little like off-putting like in terms of social situations, definitely check out that video. I wanted to make it because I always feel so awkward when I meet people. I feel like I'm not... Um, the best version of myself. I feel like I could be more out there and I just always struggle with doing it. And I wanted to make a video explaining kind of like some of the stuff I went through that's led to me being the way I am in terms of not trusting in people and a little awkward socially. Um, and yeah, um, so thank you so much. Um, hopefully I see you guys at Howling Haunt this weekend. We'll be there both Friday and Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, and thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> Bye.